joined Deafblind Scotland in 2010 and at that point the board had been talking about wanting their own centre and they'd been talking about this wee piece of land in Lenzi that they were after. But that was in October and in the January we moved to purchase the land. Once we had dotted our I's and crossed our T's we bought the land um, and then it started to feel as though that dream, that conversation was turning into a reality. The centre was needed as a, a focal point in Scotland so people can come to us and learn. We assessed the tender portfolio that was submitted by Clarks as the most realistic and it felt as though it was a very honest tender. From 2011, to 2016, that was all about workshops and through detail, making sure the building was fit for purpose, but particularly the purpose for DeafBlind Scotland and their service users. We ensured at the interview stage that we had a good balance and weighting between price and quality, but what uh, shone through was the ability for the Clarks team to uh, build a very strong bridge and interface with the, with the client group. The anatomy of the building is simple, it's a central spine corridor uh, with all the rooms accessing off. What this does is it makes it a very legible building to navigate around. The centre was constructed in a, a, a traditional build manner. Um, there was a ground floor slab, uh, it was a, a portal steel frame with um, structural framing to the, the internal walls and a facing brick externally. Um, there's quite a few areas of cut and wall which gave a lot of light and the roof was a standard seam roof. Prior to commencement of the project, the architect and myself attended a workshop. You can imagine um, what it's like not to hear or not to see but when you're actually in that environment. It's very, very difficult and it gave us a good understanding of, of the user's needs. It's been a good experience. From coming on site with hard hats to, to muddy puddles and going up ladders and scaffolding to come up and see upstairs to going to the cheese and wine receptions that Clark put on so that we can meet other people. It has been a nice engaging relationship with Clarks and it's still going on.